Hey what's up everyone, Olia here. So I wanted to talk about the new iMac redesign. I did briefly cover it in my sort of reacting video, but I just wanted to talk about it a bit more after a few days and also kind of understand why Apple went with the design. So just to recap, Apple have announced a new iMac redesign. It has the new M1 chip in it as well. It's been enlarged to be now 24 inches instead of 21.5 inches like it was in the past. And the design of it, it's, it's interesting. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about it. And that's what I sort of wanted to discuss in this video. The design itself does somewhat follow the previous gen with the chin on the bottom, but the rest of it is completely changed. It's now super, super thin. And they've actually gotten rid of the sort of bulge on the back of it. So it's just one flat back. So who is the new iMac for? So I'd say it's for the average user who doesn't need a MacBook. They want a desktop computer. I'd also say it's ideal for families. You know, if you have one iMac in the house that you can share, between lots of people in the house. I think that makes a lot of sense. I feel like with all the colors and the sort of nice friendly design that it has, it's perfect for people who want to share one computer in the house. At first you'd think, why didn't Apple just get rid of the chin? But Apple do say that the chin itself contains the computer, the motherboard, most of the components, and of course the speakers as well. Hell, even I made a meme about it on Twitter, wondering why didn't they just put the computer behind the screen. But anyway, it was just to poke a little bit of fun, have a little bit of fun with the design of the new iMac. We already know that Apple, if they really wanted to fit all of the components behind the screen, they could have, because they've already done it. Look at the iPad Pro, the brand new iPad Pro. That has the M1 chip in it, exactly the same chip that you find in the new iMac. And the iPad Pro is even thinner than the new iMac as well. I'm sure Apple have their own hardware reasons to go for the chin. I mean, I'm no hardware engineer, but I am a designer. And from a design standpoint, the chin makes a lot of sense. I tweeted an image titled generic versus recognizable. You have the generic products on the left and then you have the recognizable Apple products on the right. You can instantly tell that the devices on the right are unmistakably Apple. Now that doesn't mean that generic is bad. I actually prefer the generic designs. I would love an iPhone without a notch. I would love an iMac without a chin. I just think they look a bit cleaner, a bit more minimalist. And I'm sure if Apple really wanted to, they could make it happen. They have the best engineers, the best designers, they have the most talented people in the world. But the reason they don't go for these generic designs is because it doesn't make their devices recognizable. Whether you think this is a good thing or a bad thing, it's really up to you. Everyone has their own opinions about it. For the 24 inch iMac, Apple have obviously purposely gone with this design with the white bezels and all the nice fancy bright colors with it. I think when it comes to the Pro model, the iMac Pro, we're most likely going to see a much more understated design and will most likely come in silver and gray as well. It also wouldn't surprise me if Apple get rid of the 27 inch iMac altogether and they just have a bigger iMac and they call it the iMac Pro. I also expect the iMac Pro to follow a similar design when it comes to the stand that you find on the 24 inch version. But I think the display itself may actually follow more of the Pro Display XDR. The Pro Display XDR has the nice thin bezels, it has no chin, it's a very clean minimalist display. I don't think the display in the iMac Pro will be as good as the Pro Display XDR because that is a very high-end model, very high-end display. But I do think it'll be very similar and it will be 32 inches in size and will most likely also have a 6K resolution. Let me know what your thoughts are on the new iMac redesign. As I said, everyone has their own opinions and it'll be interesting to see what people say in the comments. But like I said, I think Apple are going for recognizable design, something that makes their devices recognizable, even if it means that it's not as clean and as minimalist as a sort of generic design. They want their phones, they want their iMac, they want their devices to be quite recognizable. Now, of course, you know, the iPad, maybe not recognizable, but then the iPad doesn't really have any competition. When people think of tablets, they don't say tablet. I don't know of any sort of non-techie person that doesn't call a tablet an iPad. Everyone just calls tablets iPads because iPads really do sort of own that market. Same with the Pro Display XDR. The Pro Display XDR isn't meant for general consumers. It's not meant for the general person. The people who buy Pro Display XDRs know already what they're looking at and they know what it's capable of. It's not meant for the average person. But like I said, let me know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested in seeing and hearing other people's opinions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.